Warner von Braun was a German-born aerospace engineer who is known for his pioneering work in the field of rockets, except he first made these rockets for Nazi Germany. So this is the design of the V2 rocket. It will perhaps be the first man-made object to go into outer space. Yeah, that's cool and all, but how many people can it kill? I mean, a lot of people, presumably if it were to come back down to Earth. Excellent. Mass produce it and drop that shit on London daily. Can it reach the United States? I don't really feel comfortable with the direction this is taking. You don't feel comfortable with what? Yes, sir, my leader. At the end of World War II, Von Braun made sure to be captured by the Americans because he did not want to work for the Soviet Union. Excuse me, sir. United States Army, state your name. My name is Magnus Von Braun. It's a fucking Nazi. Let's shoot him in the face. No, wait, don't shoot. My brother is Warner Von Braun, the guy who made the V2 rocket. What, for real? Hey guys, I found one we're gonna take back with us. Of course, in order to work with you all, I will have to bring many of my scientists with me to America. Here's a file on them. They are mostly from Argentina. Were these men born in Argentina? If it speeds up the paperwork process, yes, let's just say they were born in Argentina. Okay, look, I just have to ask. Is it true that you used Jewish slaves in Germany to help build your rockets? Isn't it true that America used African slaves to build up its entire country? Why do you keep bringing up old shit? While living in Huntsville, Alabama and working for NASA, Von Braun made several rockets that took human beings into outer space, including the Saturn V rocket, which took us to the moon. And despite working in the Deep South and being from Germany, Von Braun was actually very big on diversity in the workplace. Hey. Can I help you with something? Don't be using the water fountains in the hallway. You use the colored ones outside. This man will do no such thing. And when you speak to this gentleman, you will speak to him with the same respect you speak to everybody else here with, or you will find yourself without a job. Do I make myself clear? Damn. You're pretty tolerant for a German man. Well, it wasn't really his people we had a problem with. It was, well, I didn't have a problem with anybody, but. I had a really crazy boss one time. Maybe I'll tell you about it one day. 